And a new blow to the security of shoppers this morning. The massive cyber attack involving up to 110 million customers at Target appears to be part of a much larger scam. Homeland Security is warning several retailers about a sophisticated computer program stealing personal information. Jan Crawford is in Washington with new details. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora Charlie. So hackers are using what's a type of malicious software, it's called malware, uh, basically malware, uh, to steal credit card information. And federal officials are concerned because some retailers, they worry, could be under attack right now and not even know it. The malware, called Cartosha, captures credit card information at point-of-sale terminals as customers swipe a card. A new report on Cartosha from cybersecurity firm iSight doesn't specifically mention Target, but law enforcement sources tell CBS News the massive data theft that happened at the retailer helped investigators identify the malicious software code. A source close to the investigation confirms to CBS News that at least a portion of the code was written in Russian, although that does not necessarily mean it originated in Russia. Kartosha is sophisticated, designed to cover its tracks to avoid detection by typical antivirus software. To help companies combat hackers, the Department of Homeland Security has released a set of highly technical instructions, telling the nation's retailers how to find the code and stop it. In light of the data hacks at Target, as well as upscale retailer Neiman Marcus, cybersecurity exhibits were among the most popular at this week's National Retail Federation's annual expo. The bad guys are working together on security. Tom Patterson is with security firm CSC. They've seen what can happen if you don't take security seriously now. It's more than just an acceptable loss. It's more than just, you know, the equivalent of a shoplifter taking something off, off your shelves. You just hit checkout. Companies took advantage of the trade show to debut more secure payment systems, like card readers attached to smartphones and tablets, even changes to credit cards themselves. Retailers are vowing to better protect consumers with new technology. We've moved from MagStripe and the basically useless signature uh, to cards that will be pin and chip. We're going to see payments probably leapfrog where we are today. Now, yesterday, Target emailed millions of customers again apologizing. And as part of its effort to restore uh, some of that trust, it's offering people who may have been affected, Charlie and Nora, a year, a full year of free credit monitoring. Thanks, Jen.